It's really hard to know why particular people are entranced by particular things. Some folks love model trains, some folks love Picasso. For me, it's snakes. Australia is a hard place to make a living. The soils are poor, the rainfall is infrequent, and it's the cold-blooded animals that can wait out the bad times, the creatures like snakes and lizards. They're the ones we have to focus on, they're the ones we need to understand if we want to keep Australian ecosystems functioning. We are still very much in kindergarten when it comes to our knowledge of the ecology of Australian reptiles and amphibians. We don't even know how many species are out there. I'd been studying snakes up on the Adelaide River floodplain near Darwin for 20 years and the toad invasion rolled into my study site. Everyone predicted it would wipe out the snakes that I'd been studying and I decided I really had to switch across from being a snake biologist to being a toad biologist. When cane toads arrive in an area, huge numbers of large predators are killed because they try to eat the very large toads and the toads got a very distinctive and very powerful poison. We've shown that if you put small toads in instead, the predators learn rather than being killed, and so they can survive the cane toad onslaught. I think we've found out an enormous amount about Australian reptiles and their ecology, and that's helpful. And at the same time, hopefully, we've managed to convince some members of the general public that snakes and animals like this are really worth having around. I'm very optimistic about the future of Australia's reptiles. There's been losses, but when I go out there in the bush, I find lots of people working very hard doing great science, framing new and effective means of conservation. I think if anyone's got a hope of maintaining their reptile fauna, it's Australia. My science doesn't have lots of big machines with flashing lights and it doesn't have much technical jargon, but I think what it does is show us how we can conserve an absolutely unique resource. The Prime Minister's Prize is a fantastic honour and it's a terrific recognition of the value of doing simple science out there in the bush. Thank you.